Let's start it up lean. I'm Nate, I'm the Fit Future MD. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Pick up your free copy of the Nutrition and Workout Guide while it's still free. I will be charging for it very soon, so pick that up um, as soon as you can. I'm the owner of Incercell, Incercell's family. Together we will rise up from humble beginnings to inspire others all over the world with the messages on our t-shirts. Wear your inspiration today and use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off. That's gonna be the only code that the Incercell is running basically from now on. Like, um, you know, uh, as margins get tighter, uh, these discounts are gonna be uh, fewer and fewer. So, um, you know, definitely uh, take advantage of that uh, while you still can. Let's say the uh, let's say we got the curve logo out right now, um, and we also still have some of the straight up risen shirts for Easter out right now. So check those out, um, insercell.com, uh, Link in the description. And uh, <clears throat> all right, so now I don't know if you've ever been like me, but when I started my business, the amount of money I had was zero, right? zero dollars zero dollars zero connections nothing right all i knew is that um hey it's a lot cheaper to get wholesale clothing than anything else right so you know and i gotta wear clothes so i was like well let me design my own clothes i already have the skill right i learned the skill by walking to a beach shop right and uh you know so basically, I, you know, I'm looking for ways to come up with, uh, you know, how do you start a business on the lean, right? On, with nothing. So, <clears throat> you know, that's what I did, right? So, um, so this comes up with the idea of being a, what's called a lean startup, right? So basically you have little capital to start your business, right? So that's what this video is gonna be about. Um, so basically when you're a lean startup, you're going to have a hypothesis, right? And you basically, you're going to be testing that hypothesis over and over and over again forever. Right. Um, so that's called continuous innovation, right? Um, that's the last principle in the book, the lean startup, right? Continuous innovation, but we're going to build, we're going to measure, and we're going to learn something, right? So how do we do that, right? So I come up with the design. You know, first I put out the design to my family, right? And friends, you know, people that I knew, you know, once they said, oh, that's really cool, you know, and even if they were broke and couldn't buy it, you know, I still would say, okay, well, let's move forward with this product. And so we did. But I also had products in there that were crap, right? Ended up giving them away for Christmas presents right? Because we had spent money making the product and, you know, couldn't afford Christmas presents. So we just gave them away as Christmas presents. Um, but I digress on that, but it's basically build, measure, and learn, right? So we're going to build it, then we're going to measure the response to it from our actual customers, right? So, so uh, for instance, in my line of work in the clothing industry, right? So I make something, I immediately send it out through email uh, to my customer, right? I say, hey, we may have this for pre-order or check out this new drop or whatever. So, you know, say I have, you know, I've built my list up to 1,500 people, right? So I send it out to 1,500 people and 800 of them come to the website, but none of them buy, right? That means the product they are not interested in, right? And, you know, I have not gotten them as a target audience, right? They're not the target audience for that shirt. But they support me and support my brand, you know, but, or maybe the the price for that quality or may not be there. Like I say, you know, my family doesn't come for money. So, you know, some of those people are in there and, you know, but the ones that have the money, you know, they support. So, you know, that's always great. Um, but so that's basically when we come up with an informed decision, right? We got 800 people come to the website and none of them buy. 
well, this product is crap, right? So we're gonna scrap that product, that product's gotta go, right? But that's basically the, the whole principle of the lean startup, right? <clears throat> so at this point, you know, we decide based on customer reactions, customer results, do we pivot or do we persevere, right? And pivot, pivot means you, you ditch the product, persevere means you keep producing the product, right? So basically a lean startup, you're gonna continuously do that over and over and over again, right? And, um, you know, and I'm going to add a few things here that's not in the book. Okay. Um, the invention, uh, and the use of technology, right? So, you know, back in the day, you know, there was no Shopify. There was, you know, these sites where you can make everything basically all in one spot, right? I can make a website. I can sell products off of it. It'll do my um, buying and selling. I can do my point of sale from it, right? It can all be in one application, right? I can send emails from it, um, you know. So technology has allowed me to be a lean startup, right? So if a website used to cost thousands of dollars. When, uh, when Amazon made its first website, it spent $100,000 to make that website. You know, now it's a three month, one dollar a month free trial, right? You get a 14 day free trial and then it's a dollar a month for three months to have a website right now. Much, much lower barrier to entry right now. But that also means you're going to have a lot more competition, right? If there's a lower barrier to entry. So keep that in mind. You know, uh, we'll talk about the sense commandments in another video. I may have talked about it before, but, you know, a barrier to entry is something that's good if you're in business, right? You have a barrier to entry, but the lean startup is what's supposed to get you over that those barrier to entries for the business you want to start, right? So, like I say, th these are basically the principles of the lean startup, right? Build, measure, learn, right? Test your hypothesis, right? So, let's say we tested the hypothesis. We sent it out to our, our main customers. You know, half of them came to the website and didn't buy. That means the product is crap. We're gonna scrap that product, right? But that's data driven, right? And then you, uh, so one more thing. Um, so if you're making a product, you know, you may make it in, in what's called the minimum viability of that product right? You're not going to perfect that product in the first generation, right? You want it to be minimally acceptable to your people, to the people that will buy it, right? So I'll give this example, you know, for a while when I started making the messages on the t-shirts, you know, I was using a cheaper t-shirt to make that, right? You know, and then the customer come up to you, hey, you know, you know, we like this t-shirt better, like, you know, this t-shirt's, you know, rough or, whatever like you get that feedback like okay well we're gonna go with a nicer softer shirt now right um obviously i love gym shirts you know so i make gym shirts sometimes for myself and uh you know but most of my customers are not gym people right so you know they may not like this material that i like personally it's what the customer feedback gives me right but that's called minimum viable product, right? You know, so I started with the lower quality t-shirt, um, but now I have the higher quality t-shirt, right? So that's why I can say high quality tees for a, for a great price, right? So, um, but that's, you know, pretty much it. P pivot or persevere and continuously innovating. So I'm continuously making uh, new versions. That's why we got the white curve logo, right? Um, for InterSale and uh, you know, hopefully you guys like it. Um, any questions, leave me on comments below. Like I say, uh, to have a lean startup with no money, right? You, like the last thing I added in there was technology, right? Um, technology makes it cheap to do everything, it makes it faster. So, you know, the reason I can record these videos with this knowledge is because of technology, right? You know, back in the day I was recording you know, with a thousand dollar camera, 
you know, and I don't have to do that anymore because the camera, well, it's still a thousand dollar camera, I guess, but you know, technology makes this easier, right? So keep that in mind. I'm Nate, I'm the Fit Future MD, shop at insercell.com, pick you up a high quality t-shirt with an inspirational message. The inspirational message you want is not up there. Send me a DM, send me an email, and I'll be happy to make it for you. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.